Campaign structure truly is everything when it comes to properly managing your Google Shopping campaigns. You have to think of structure like the foundation of a home. It holds everything up and it keeps everything still. Now, if you don't have the right structure, your house is gonna come crumbling down. So in Google Shopping, that essentially means that no more ROAS, no more profit, no more returns, everything goes out the window. So today, I'm gonna be sharing with you two of the biggest mistakes we see all the time being made when structuring your Google Shopping campaigns. Poor shopping campaign structure is widespread. In fact, of all the campaigns that our team takes over management for, 98% of them are usually structured without any level of granularity. Not all structures are lost causes. In fact, there are quite a few that you can still break down to a more granular level. Yet, then there's some of those that are far more complex to deal with. And we've actually have to develop a special transition process based around breaking those campaigns down and migrating them over to what we call pure ID level Google Shopping. My name's Tony Capitola, marketing manager here at Sales and Orders. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my two top picks for the worst Google Shopping campaign structures. Our worst structures today are all based off of the principle of grouping products together without any type of granularity. And what this usually leads to is something called the ad waste phenomenon. And to explain the ad waste phenomenon, I'm going to be bringing in my friend, John Wanamaker. John, take it away. Half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The problem is, I don't know which half. So to start, I'm going to be talking about an understructured campaign, or essentially a campaign that you haven't subdivided enough. So as you can see here, this retailer took 25 products and put them into this one little subgroup and set a 40 cent max CPC bid for every single one of those products. Yeesh. The simple way to put it is, this retailer will never know which products in this group are actually winning and which ones are bringing down his performance. It's kind of like mm, being stuck in a dark room without a flashlight. Hello? Anybody in here? No! Oh! Pretty scary stuff, huh? Well, to be honest, this retailer is not that bad off. They can still go and subdivide an understructured campaign, which makes this one a lot easier to work with. For this group specifically, all this retailer needs to do is resubdivide, choose the ID level, break it down, and there you go. Now they have every single one of their products as their own line item, and they can bid and analyze each individual SKU as they stand on their own. So now that I have prepped you with the easy structure, now we're gonna go into the hardest, the most difficult structure to deal with, especially when it's not structured properly for efficient Google Shopping management. We're talking about overstructuring or going way too far with your subdivision and never actually getting down to that super granular ID level. So in this case, this retailer has essentially subdivided by brand, by category, then by custom label, then by something else, then by something else, It's really hard. I, I'm, I can't even tell you how hard this is going to work with. Give, just give me a second. Woosa, woosa, woosa. Oh, hi. Sorry about that. So uh, let's get back to this. This retailer here, um, kind of a lost cause. And this is where our team usually has to step in and we have to invest in a transition system where we have to actually take this overly structured campaign and migrated to a completely different campaign. Now the problem with this retailer is that they have so many nested groups that every time they try to subdivide again, they're going to run into more problems. They may not get it, get granular. There's it, it's, it's again, it's a mess. I, I don't know what to do. I, I just don't know. All right. I apologize. I am exaggerating a little bit, but the truth is this is one of the worst campaign structures you can ever deal with because you're still having the same problems with the understructuring, you're not bidding at the ID level, you're missing out on your performing products, you're overbidding, you're underbidding, you're, you're, you're loss of control, and then there's something called impression crowding. Ugh, what is that, Tony? Before I get into impression crowding, let's first talk about impression share. Now, impression share, if you don't know what it is, it is the total number of impressions that you did get versus the number of impressions you were eligible to receive. Now, impression crowding is essentially what happens when you have this grouped campaign structure. And what's going on in this structure is essentially every single one of your products are set at the same bid but there are only certain select products in each group that deserve the impressions. But then there are products that are getting bid on at the same amount 
And those are getting the same amount of impressions, or they're trying to get the same amount of impressions. So these impressions are fighting, and these products are... And you know what? Your top performers in that particular group are not getting the impressions they deserve, and the ones that are just wasting your budget are eating up all the impressions. Uh, I wish I had better news for this retailer, but their campaign is pretty much a lost cause to be able to do any type of granularity at all. So we will have to take them through a transition process where we migrate this overly group structure and we move it to our pure ID level methodology. Now with that, the retailer will be able to bid and analyze on each individual product uniquely. So now that we've covered what we would peg as some of the worst Google Shopping campaign structures and all of the things that go along with them. So you have your overstructuring, you have understructuring, we have overbidding, underbidding in those campaigns. I mean, you have impression crowding, uh, lack of absolute control. You know what? It's time for you to take a look at your campaigns and figure out what's going on in there. My name is Tony Capital, and thank you very much for joining me today for the two worst Google Shopping campaign structures and a lot of the things that go along with them. Be sure to check out our blog, blog.salesandorders.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on Twitter at salesandorders.